How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I'm gonna walk you through sanitizing your freshwater system on your RV, from your freshwater tank to your freshwater pipes on the RV. It's pretty simple, fast, and effective. So you might be asking the question, why do I even need to sanitize my freshwater system on my RV? It's a good reason to, whether you're pulling it out of winterization, whether it's sat there for a while, maybe it's just been in storage and even hasn't even been winterized, but you're pulling it out and there's been water sitting in there. There's been air with moisture sitting inside of there. That's an environment where things can start to grow inside of that system. And if you're gonna be brushing your teeth or using drinking water, just using that water in general, it's gonna be much better for you and the RV to be able to have that system sanitized. And if you're just gonna try and run city water through there because it's chlorinated to try and sanitize your system, the level of chlorine that's in there isn't at a level that can sanitize the inside of your plumbing or tank. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a solution and get that solution into the tanks and the plumbing to be able to sanitize all of it. So let's get started on this because our process really isn't gonna take that long for what we need to do, but the long part is gonna be letting the solution sit in there and work overnight. So we want this to sit for about 12 hours once we get the solution in there. What's really gonna be doing the work for us is just normal, regular bleach, not the splash free or any kind of scented bleach, just regular bleach. We're gonna put one cup of that to 50 gallons of water. But first, let's turn off the water heater because we don't sanitize the water heater. We we don't want the bleach going into the water heater. We use vinegar to do that and we don't want to mix vinegar and bleach. That's a dangerous combination. So what I recommend is you can do both of them, just don't do them both at the same time. Do one, then when you're done with that process, then you can do the other one. I'm also not a huge fan of using a ton of bleach all the time, but this is the best process that I have found for sanitizing your tank. So this is kind of the one place that we do use it. And you can use it between 200 to 50 parts per million. We're going to be at that 50 50 parts per million doing this mixture of one cup bleach and 50 gallons of water. So we have our water heater turned off and then we just wanna bypass it. So sometimes there'll be three valves that you need to turn in order to bypass your water heater. If you have a Nautilus panel having this red knob at the bottom, if we turn it down to the left, it bypasses the water heater. No water is going to flow into the water heater. No water is gonna come out of the water heater. It bypasses it completely. Now we have a few options for getting the bleach inside of our system. Number one, you could mix it in a bucket and then you can siphon that in using the panel here, using the pump to be able to pull that into the tank. But if you don't wanna mix it into a bucket, then you could put it into the filter housing. So if you have a filter that looks like this where you can replace the cartridges on the inside, you can unscrew this, you can take that filter out, just leave it out while you're doing this process, put the bleach inside of here, and then just run the city water into the RV to be able to fill up, do the power fill on the tank. Then the third option is probably the most simple is where we can just put bleach inside this cup. It gives you measurements on the side. And then we're just gonna pour this into the hose before we connect it to the RV. If you pour that into the hose and then you do the power fill for the tank, all that bleach in the water is gonna go into your tank. Now I don't put all two cups in at the same time. So we're just gonna put in like a half a cup in the beginning, connect up that hose, turn on the water, start filling up that tank. I like to use one of these little water meters so that way I can see how many gallons are going in. So that way I know when to stop. I can kind of gauge it better when I wanna stop and add a little bit more bleach into the system. So you'll notice the knobs that we have on there. It matches the power fill tank, except for the red one for the water heater. We still wanna have that bypass. So that's the only one that's gonna be different from the diagram that you have on your Nautilus panel. So we're just gonna add bleach three more times and then the solution is in there and ready for us to get that into the lines. So now that it is full, we can set up our RV to be able to use the pump again. So we're gonna set this to dry camping, except for we're still gonna leave that red knob for the water heater bypass in that down position. If you need to put a little piece of tape on there so you don't actually turn it until you are actually needing to at the end of this whole process, it's not a bad idea because it's easy to kind of forget that that's the one you're not supposed to change when you're changing everything else in this panel for these steps. Now getting this bleach water into our water lines is really simple at this point because we have the fresh water turned off, we're connected to the pump, so we're gonna pull out of that fresh water tank that now has the bleach water in it, and we just need to turn on the faucet here until we smell bleach. We can do that for cold and hot at each of our fixtures. 
Now we just need to wait and let the bleach water do its work for about 12 hours. You don't wanna try and rush this. You don't wanna put in more bleach thinking you could do it in a shorter amount of time. Having the right mixture of bleach to the amount of time is what's going to sanitize the system safely before we go ahead and rinse all this out. So we're gonna give this about 12 hours. We're gonna let it sit overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and flush it all out. Now, a couple of things I wanted to mention as we get ready to flush the system. I prefer to do this when we're connected to city sewer. Of course, we have city water coming in, but city sewer so that the system can handle that amount of bleach water coming into it. If you're on a small septic, it's not the best thing to have this much bleach water hit that system. And I don't prefer to just dump it on the ground. So when we're connected to city sewer, I grab the drain hose, I clean it up, and I don't connect it to the fresh water dump underneath the RV, but I hold it underneath, kind of like having an air gap in a commercial building. And so I have that air gap there. I don't, I'm not gonna have any cross contamination in there, but this allows me to dump all that bleach water into the city sewer. So after we have that emptied out, I like to fill it back up. We can get all the bleach water out of the lines on the inside by opening up all those faucets. We could also run our pump to make sure that all the bleach water is going to be out of it. I like to drain it one more time before we fill it and use it. That just makes sure that everything that's in there is now out of the system. So other than a few more things that we need to make note of, it's a really relatively simple, fast process. I mean, the longest part is waiting for the solution to do the work, but your time commitment in actually doing the sanitization of the system goes pretty quick. Once you're done with everything, make sure that you unbypass your water heater so that you can get that filled up with water, and then you can turn the water heater back on. But make sure that water heater gets water in it before you turn it back on so you don't burn up the element inside of it. The other thing that we do bypass or rather turn off is our water filter system, our RO system. We, we turn that off so that none of that bleach water comes into it. We still use that RO system because it has a pressurized tank while we're doing this, so we can still have drinking water. We can still wash our hands quickly. We have a couple of gallons there that we're able to use overnight for water. It's another reason why we like the RO system. We use it on travel days. We use it all the time when we may not have water inside the RV or the pump's not on. We still have a little bit of water to use. Another thing I might have forgotten to mention in the beginning of this video is you want to start this entire process with empty tanks, an empty system to sanitize. And on that note, you also want to drain your wastewater tank. So if any of this bleach water made it into those tanks, just go ahead and pull the handle and let that out right away. No need to hold it in those tanks. So this is recommended to do once a year. So when you're pulling that RV out of storage, you're dewinterizing it, getting it ready for that next camping season, this is what you wanted to do, be able to sanitize the tanks, the freshwater tanks and water lines inside of your RV. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I hope this information helps you guys out that you're able to get through this process quick, easy, and on to the enjoyment of camping. So like I said, that's gonna do it for today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will. See you next video.